Hey guys, so I'm back. And this time I have a different project. So today what I'm gonna be doing is trying to clean a microfiber sectional. Um, you know, they get spots all over them. Um, I'm gonna show you exactly. There's some spots here. Some dirt marks. Especially up here. You know, hopefully you guys can see that. The way the sun's shining on it. And then down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little part right back here where it would get covered up at when you put the cushions on. Anytime you um, clean one of these, you want to do it in a spot where you're not going to really see it. And I know I've done another video on this before, and that one actually turned out really nice. What I'm going to be using today is going to be some rubbing alcohol mixed with some Zep carpet and upholstery cleaner and we're gonna see how that works. Let's see, I'll show you this other piece. Let's see, you might be able to see, yeah, you can kind of see that these, it gets these little black rings in this type of furniture, these little black marks. But a lot of times if you use just regular rubbing alcohol, then you either want to put it in the sun, like if you're able to do it in the sunlight, or if you have a blow dryer or something, then you could just blow dry it. But as soon as you um, get it wet, you want it to kind of dry pretty fast. And this one, it's not all that bad. I don't know if you could see some of this up here where it's gotten pretty dark. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set you up over here. So, what you wanna do is you mix your rubbing alcohol and you can just get, Zep it seems to work really good. The Zep carpet shampooer. So what we do is we'll just spray it on Spray it on pretty good, just like this. And then you just take your rag and you can rub over it. Spray it some more. And then, let me unplug this. What I do is we have a wet vac here. And if you don't have a wet vac or a shampooer, you can just use a rag. And then again, you wanna use a blow dryer. So here we go with this. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're just going to let this dry because I have it in the sunlight. It's going to dry and then we're going to see what it looks like, but it should look pretty good. And then once I'm all done this thing, all this and then this has to actually get sewed up you see how that's got a rip in it here that i will actually sew up but yep for now and then i'll show you a little bit more later and what it looks like hey there okay so i did half of it and shampooed it like i said i was going to and it's actually turning out really nice 
It looks a lot better. It is still drying. Again, it's still, it's good if you have it in the sun with you, but if you're not in the sun and you're in the house, then I would suggest just using a blow dryer on it to get it dry. But I should turn it around here so I can get more of the sun, just so this part can dry. And then this part down here, we'll just take like a, take a damp cloth, just water, just very damp, and then be able to get all this spots up here. Um, I might go over this just a little bit, not sure if it really needs it. The front part might just need a little touch up, but not too bad. This little thing right here, it's just one of those bristle brushes. It's um, real soft, not the ones that are, you know, extremely hard. This is actually really soft. See? Real soft. And then all you do after you've shampooed it is you're just going to go over it like this. And then you might need to redo it. You see right here, it kind of still has some marks. So you might have to go over it a couple of times, but then you just take this brush like this. And it actually really gets pretty clean. I just wanna go like this. This one, I see, still has some spots on it. You can tell when they dry how clean they got this one I might have to go over a little bit more but other than that it's not too bad then this one over here still have to work on this one and clean this one up too so yep that's it for now I'll show you what they look like when they're finished.